And from the findings, it says that enrollment in senior high school has increased from 813,448 to 1.3 million since free SHS started in 2017. About 5.7 million students have so far benefited from this policy. A total of 12.88 billion cities allocated to the free SHS policy, averaging 1.84 billion cities annually since it began in 2017. It recommends that the free SHS policy be targeted to focus more on the needs of children from poorest households using data from the LEAP program as a point of entry. It further recommends that it needs to develop and implement a strategy to gradually transition Ghana's secondary education system from the current burden as a norm to day as norm, as well as improve the disbursement of funds under the free SHS policy. Let's listen to the executive director of the Africa Education Watch, Kofi Asari, who is emphasizing the need for the policy to be reviewed. It is on the basis of this finding that we believe that looking at the data also, um, there is a significant number of Ghanaians who are unable to go to secondary school, even though they pass, they are placed, but they're unable to go because of financial barriers. So we simply say that if as a result of the introduction of free senior high school, government is only taking 23% of the cost originally borne by students prior to the policies introduction. And government also says that the free senior high school is aimed at removing all financial access barriers, such that financial access should not, financial barriers should not be the reason why a poor, a poor family should not enroll their child, as declared by SSNLC during the launch of the program. Then it is very, very important to note that once we are having significant numbers not being able to enroll, even though they are placed, and I'm talking about between 2019 and 2022 about 194,000 candidates who were placed were not able to go to school at first instance. In the year that they were placed, they were unable to earn their admission. We admit that in 2023, the number declined significantly to about, I think, 7,000 or so. But the fact that we still have people who are placed and unable to earn their admission, you know, with in such significant numbers, brings our attention to the fact that Perhaps government absorbing only 23% of the cost originally borne by parents when there was no free senior high school policy would mean that parents from low income households, students from households within the low income or the low um, income quintile, I'm talking about households whose annual expenditure is below 8,000, okay, would definitely find it challenging, you know, to absorb the remaining 77% of the cost of secondary education, even though there's free senior high school. Reason why we believe that government will have to target such households and ensure that more than what is currently being given to the average Ghanaian student under the free senior high school program goes to students from such poor households so that they will also be able to participate fully 